Hello everybody and welcome back. So happy you joined to assemble all of our 75 grannies together to create this beautiful puff stitch granny cheerful cardigan with a hoodie. All right, so you have your 75 five by five inches little grannies, which is 13 centimeters by 13 centimeters. And today I will show you how to assemble them and I will show you how to create a beautiful little twirlies border to give it that extra boho style. Are you ready? Let's do this. I will link the granny tutorial down below in the info box. And also on the right side of your screen, you can click on the little information button. All right, we are going to begin by assembling the back. The back is made out of a five by five, so five rows of five granny stitches. We will assemble rows vertically and then horizontally. It doesn't matter which one you do first. And I assemble them with my crochet, slip stitching through both of the grannies and I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, so you're going to place your grannies right side facing each other. So wrong side of the granny will be facing you. And you're going to join at the corner stitch, which was a chain space and of course you're going to take your color your base color the one you want for the base the main color of your cardigan make a slip knot pass your crochet hook through the chain from uh, the granny that is closer to you and the granny that is further away from you both on the chain and you're going to go to both of the grannies the one that is closer to you you're going to take the part of the stitch the v-stitch that is closer to you and the, the granny that is away from you you're going to take the part of the v-stitch that is further away from you here you go i'll show you from close so here is the next stitch you see the v Take the part that is closer to you from the first granny and then from the second granny go to the matching stitch and take the part of the v-stitch that is further away from you. Let's do it again here. Close. Further away. Yarn over and through both of the stitches and of course the loop that is on your crochet hook. And you're going to do that all along your granny matching stitch to stitch so you're really matching groups of three double crochets together and joining them with a slip stitch from corner to corner i will show you what to do once you reach your second corner you begin at one corner and i will show you what to do when you reach the next corner to join two more grannies together and when you turn it to the right side this is what your seam will look like very nice i like that look all right i will meet you once you reach the corner Here we go, this is what your work will look like from the wrong side of your work. And again, take your third and your fourth granny stitch, place them wrong side facing you, like so, one on top of each other, next to the two one that you joined already, horizontally. And we're going to continue horizontally through the next two grannies. And you're going to make your last slip stitch at the two grannies that we had began to do together in the chain stitch, in the corner chain stitch, assembling it together. And then you're going to pinch your two grannies together and you're going to join in the corner chain stitch again, the two next grannies, just like that. Make sure you really pull on your yarn to make it tight and voila! slip stitch and you continue along the two other grannies so they are linked together horizontally you will still have to do the vertical assembly but we'll do that once we have our five and five grannies so ten grannies assembled together the two first rows will be assembled vertically and then i will show you what to do next and you will do that with five grannies with ten grannies in total so here we have four, we'll need six, eight, and 10. So six more grannies in that way. You want a row of five granny in total. 
So you do all your rows vertically and then you do it horizontally. When you do that, once you do it horizontally, you will have to go over a seam. And I will show you what to do when you meet a seam. So when you meet a seam, you're going to assemble the last chin stitch from the corner, right there. Then you're going to skip the seam, go to the next corner, the next chin uh, stitch, and then assemble them together. And that is what you're doing. Super simple. All right. We are done with our back. Now we're going to assemble the front. And it's more of the same, but it is two rows of five granny squares. So 10 granny squares in total that are assembled together like so, five and five. That is going to be your front panel. That is going to be the left front panel. And then another set of two rows of five grannies. So 10 grannies in total again for the other panel, for the other side. So now you have assembled your back and you have assembled the two front panels. The sleeves are going to be made of three rows of three grannies, so nine grannies in total. And you're going to make two of these, so nine and nine, assembled together. And that will be two sleeves. Nine grannies. And make another one of nine grannies. All right, so let's go over what we have done so far. You have for your back, 25 grannies put together in rows of five. So five rows of fives. And then you have your both, both of your front panels, which are 10 grannies each, two rows of five. Okay, you're with me? Good, let's continue. And I will show you where the hoodie will be. At the beginning of the tutorial, I had made a hoodie that was way too small, and then I made one that was way too big. The final hoodie will be three rows of four grannies. Here is one sleeve and it will go like that on the side. Let me show you the other sleeve. So you understand how the hoodie works and how we will um, put it, assemble it at the top, but the hoodie will be made of three rows of four grannies. So 12 grannies in total for the hoodie. And you see the sleeves, you have three grannies, which will be folded in half like that. And the seam of uh, the sleeve will be at the bottom. Okay, so I hope that it all makes sense by now. I'm trying my best to explain it to you simply. Now we're going to attach the two grannies from the front panel to the back. Super easy. You're going to uh, assemble them the same way with a slip stitch. Those two ones, here is one assemble, and then you're going to do the same with the other one. And on the other side as well, same. All right, so two. Here I just assembled one to show you, but you're going to assemble two. So the front panel to the back, creating the shoulders. After that, we're going to assemble the sides together from a bottom to up, but we are going to leave a whole granny open for the opening of the armhole and then a half of a second granny. So a granny and a half you leave open for the assembly of the sleeves. And of course you do it on both sides. So now your back is attached to your front. And then for the sleeves, you're going to fold it in half with the wrong side facing you. You have the wrong side of your work facing you since we're assembling right now. And with the opening facing down, you are going to place it like so. And slip stitching, stitch to stitch again. Your sleeve to your the body of your work. All right, so you assembled both of your sleeves together. And of course, you closed the bottom of your sleeve, assembling it together. There you go. This is what your work will look like. And then you see at the top there, we have 
our hoodie which is made out of three rows of four grannies so 12 grannies in total you're going to find the middle of the hoodie the middle of those four grannies and the middle of the four grannies will have to match the middle of your back and that is where you're going to place a stitch marker you want the hoodie which is wrong side facing you and the middle of your hoodie the middle of those four rows to match the middle of the granny of the, your back so the middle of the third granny of your back needs to match the middle of the four hoodies the four grannies for your hoodie grab your cream yarn make a slip knot and join and you're going to begin to assemble from the middle to the left and then we'll assemble the middle to the right and i will show you how to do that then you assemble slip stitching the same way we had done so far wrong side facing you uh, going uh, taking the stitch from the back and the stitch for the hoodie stitch to stitch left from the middle of the granny to, from the back and going towards the shoulder. Now once you reach the shoulder, so you're done with half of that middle part of the granny in the back and I will show you what to do once you meet the shoulder. And once you reach the shoulder, this is what you're going to do. You're going to attach uh, the other, the rest of the left side of your granny to your front panel. And I'll show you exactly how. So once you meet the shoulder, you're going to continue to assemble the hoodie, but from the back to the front panel. And in that seam in between the granny from the back to the front panel, you're going to take three double crochets from your hoodie, one into the corner stitch, one into the seam, that's the second one, and then the third one into the next corner stitch of the next granny. All right, so that is the link between the back to the front side of your panel. The rest of the hoodie will be attached to the front of your panel and you're going to continue down the front panel with your hoodie and your front panel now matching stitch to stitch. And you're going to do that until the end of the side of your hoodie. So you're going down now attaching your hoodie to the side of your front panel. And once you're done with one side, you're going to repeat that from the middle of the back granny, but this time on the other side of the shoulder to the right shoulder and to the other side of the front panel. Right, once you're done assembling both of the sides of your hoodie from the back to the front panels now time to finish your hoodie by assembling the top you have four grannies that you will fold in half and assemble two grannies together two with two just like so to create the top of your hoodie all right just make sure you're doing it again with the wrong side facing you 
and we're going to assemble those four grannies together and once you are done assembling the hoodie you're going to sew all the loose tails in and we are done basically with the cardigan and now of course you know me i need to add some extra touch and i wanted to make it a little more boho so i created a border and i will show you how to make it you can very well leave your cardigan like that like a diamond in the rough but i'm going to add some detailing all right, let me show you how to do that. So you go to the bottom corner of your front panel with the right side of your work this time facing you and you join at the chain space of the corner. And then you chain one and in that same space, you make a single crochet. And you begin by single crocheting up the panel of your, the front panel of your cardigan. And uh, you're going to do that all the way up and you're going to continue around your hoodie down to the other side and around so all around your work except for of course the sleeves i'll show you what to do when you reach a seam there you go so you have made a single crochet in the chain corner then you're going to make a single crochet in the seam and then a single crochet in the chain corner of the next granny and then continue so super simple picking single crochet as they present themselves to you except for making one in the chin space of the corner and as well as one um, in the seam. Whenever you reach a corner between the bottom, for example, of your cardigan and the panel, it's a 90 degree angle corner, you're going to make three single crochets in that chin space. And that is all you need to know. And I will meet you once you have single crocheted around your whole cardigan, except for the sleeves, of course. You have single crocheted your way around the cardigan. You are making three single crochets in the corner chin stitch. And then you are going to, to slip stitch with the first uh, single crochet you had made. All right, so now I will show you how to create those adorable little singy majiggies, little twister roonies, curly cues, whatever. They're a kind of fringe and I love making them. You know, it's a little tedious. It takes some time, but hey, that is something that we have right now, time. So this is the time to, for me to show you how to create this. I really, really love this. And by the way, I apologize for my nails. You know what it is and you know why the reason is that I have <laughs> neglected nails. I'm actually going to make an experiment and see if I can just let them grow until things reopen. All right, to create this beautiful boho fringe, you will need a ruler. So grab a ruler, here you go. This is the second round of our border, chain one. And you are going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch just like so then you're going to pull and that is when you need your ruler here we go we are going to pull until we have eight inches length then make sure to pinch the bottom of your stitch so the loop doesn't get longer drop your crochet hook and pass your index finger in the loop and then you're going to begin to twirl and twirl and twirl until you cannot twirl for me it was about 30 times <sighs> creating those little curls once you are really you cannot turn anymore it's really tight gently gently pinch the end pass back your crochet hook through the loop and then you're going to slip stitch at the base of the slip stitch you just made. At the base of the curly cue. There you go, now it's secured. And you're going to pull on it and it will curl on itself naturally. One created, many more to create. And then you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and in the next again and repeat pulling eight inches long loop and twirling 30 times. Pass your crochet hook through the loop, slip stitch at the base 
put this in the same slip stitch you just made and then make two more slip stitches pull a little bit on your little string and make two more slip stitches and that is what you're going to do all around the front panel uh, the hoodie and the bottom of your work and <laughs> don't forget to pull on them to if not that they really really curl on themselves so here you go detangle them a little bit they are so cute i love them it gives that boho style that i love so much so here you go so many little curly cues it took me a long time but i really enjoy doing it i feel like i curl my hair like that to calm myself down so i was watching tv i was watching my netflix and i did that and it was actually pretty uh, relaxing all right once you're done with them and you're meeting the first uh, slip stitch you had made you're going to slip stitch into it and you're going to fasten off and um, you're going to repeat doing one single crochet border around the end of your sleeve and then one round of curly cues around both of your sleeves and then just like that you are done with this beautiful granny puff stitch hooded boho cardigan what do you think my friend i am in love with it i think it is so cute and so cheerful and so casual i cannot wait to see what colors you will choose for yours i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i'm looking forward to many 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 more and in the meantime happy crochet stay healthy i love you take care of yourself and of each other see you next time bye